नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल लिविंग इकोनॉमिक्स वी नीड टू डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सटर्नैलिटीज सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग अबाउट एक्सटर्नैलिटीज विच इज वन ऑफ द सोर्सेज ऑफ मार्केट फेलियर एंड स्पेसिफिकली वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट नेगेटिव एक्सटर्नैलिटीज वॉट इज नेगेटिव एक्सटर्नैलिटी वाई डू एक्सटर्नैलिटीज मेक मार्केट आउटकम्स इन एफिशियंट वी विल सी ऑल दीज थिंग्स विद दी हेल्प ऑफ अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन what are externalities to be precise externalities are when self interested buyers and sellers spill over their actions onto the third party positively or negatively then it is difficult for the market to capture these external costs and benefits and so it projects outcome which is inefficient so first let us understand that these externalities are the cost which is borne by the third party third party means someone who is not associated with this market in form of consumer or producer have you ever experienced these in your life so let's see these pictures one by one yes definitely drunk and drive we have experienced this one of our very popular bollywood celebrity is associated with the case of drunk and drive and then second factory is emitting the smoke which is reducing the quality of the air for all of us then we have a barking dog which is uh, disturbing the neighbor so this neighbor has nothing to do with this dog but he is getting disturbed he is not able to concentrate and read therefore he is also bearing the cost of the dog kept by the neighbor in form of external cost it's a very obvious picture there is an active smoker who has who is getting private benefits of smoke there is a passive smoker that lady she has uh, closed her nose and mouth so that she couldn't get the smoke smell but but that means she is not liking this smoke smell and she is bearing the cost of this person smoking next to her this is called as external cost or externalities oh my god look at this picture bus is emitting so much of smoke and different types of gases carbon dioxide maybe carbon monoxide and the riders on this same road are consuming all these smoke they are not involved in the consumption or using the bus right they're using their own bicycle they're using their own bike they're using their car but because of this smoke of the bus they all are getting affected which is nothing but the external cost of these buses running on the road the another yak picture the entire amount of polluted water in form of oil and all the waste which is been um produced by the factory is been put into the water body and because of this fishes are dying so maybe there is less catch for the fishermen and their lesser profit are nothing but the cost which they are bearing uh, in form of external cost because of the production of chemical maybe you can listen to that dog which is disturbing my pro- my my projection so i am facing the external cost of keeping the dog by my neighbor let us depict the efficient market with the help of a graph over here now for the sake of simplicity right now we will assume that there is no externalities in this market market is free from external benefits or external costs now we will see how market projects on its own efficiency when there is no external cost or benefit okay so you can see that there is a demand curve which is sloping downward which is also called as private benefit curve there is a supply curve which is sloping upward which is also called as private cost curve now you can see that demand is equal to supply at dollar 2.5 and the quantity is 25 gallons so this market is exhibiting equilibrium or efficiency when price is dollar 2.5 and quantity is 25 gallons of chemical there is no shortage there is no surplus there is no external cost there is no external benefit so there is no market inefficiency market captures all the private cost of production it captures all the private benefits of consumption and therefore market is a good way in allocating resources efficiently but what happens if there is a presence of negative externality in this market so we have a supply curve private cost which is upward sloping and we will assume over here that this chemical is exhibiting all its waste it is dumping all its waste in the river water where the fisher water is getting polluted and because of that fishermen are getting less catch that let's say the cost per gallon is dollar 1 
So what we need to do is we need to add dollar one to the entire supply curve or to the entire private co private cost. When we add dollar one to the in to the private cost, it becomes social cost. So in graph you will see that we are adding dollar one at twenty five gallons. So earlier the cost was dollar two point five at twenty five gallon when external cost was zero, but now we have identified the external cost in, f in form of lesser profits for the fisherman. So here you can see the external cost. Added to the private cost becomes a social cost, which is three point five dollars. The new supply curve in this case will include private cost plus external cost, and it would shift towards left. You can see green color supply curve is now also called as marginal social cost curve. It adds marginal private cost plus marginal external cost of one dollar. Also, you see that there is a demand curve which is sloping downward, red color. It is same. Why it is same? Because we have already assumed that there is no external benefits uh, for this chemical market. What should be the socially optimal level in this case? The socially optimal level in this case is where marginal social benefit is equal to marginal social cost. So if I point out this dot, you can see this blue dot. The demand curve, which is red color, is equal to the supply curve, which is green color. This supply curve also adds external cost. So this is the social optim socially optimal quantity, where in society we add producers, we add consumers, and we add the third party as well. So that is why it is called a socially optimal quantity, which is twenty over here, and socially optimal pr price is dollar three. Where marginal cost is also dollar three at twenty, marginal benefit is also dollar three at ten twenty gallons of chemical. Now let's see why this market will be called as inefficient if it produces less than Q or more than Q. When quantity is less than twenty, let's take the case of ten gallons. At ten gallons, you can see that marginal social cost is only two. And marginal social benefit is four. So clearly, marginal social benefit is greater than marginal social cost at ten gallons of chemical production. Therefore, there is a tendency for this market to become efficient if it produces more gallons of chemical. Right? Now, let us take the second case. When quantity is greater than twenty, then you can see that marginal social cost. Which is three point five is greater than marginal social benefit, which is only two point five. Now, gallon twenty five again is not the right amount because here marginal social cost is greater than marginal social benefit, right? Next, we see that market equilibrium, which has not taken into account the external cost, is at twenty five gallon, which is greater than the social optimum level. Of twenty gallon, so you can see that this market is producing more. This market is over producing the chemical, whereas it should be only twenty as per this case, right? So if you see this red triangle, the red triangle which is showing marginal social cost from twenty onwards is greater than marginal social benefit until twenty five is called as negative externality and what we need to do to correct this we need to reduce the amount from 25 to 20 let us check out what we will be seeing in our next video uh, we will see how we can correct this market failure what can be done to correct this market failure and we need to remember one of the principles of economics which says that government sometimes can correct the market outcome when market fails to project efficiency on its own so uh, let's see in my next video what are those things which government can do to correct the market outcome to make sure that it reduces the amount from 25 to 20 again to achieve socially optimal level which is where marginal social benefit is equal to marginal social cost i hope you like this presentation stay tuned for more thanks for watching take care bye